How many hours do you spend every single month writing up meeting notes and all of your follow-up tasks from meetings? I'd guess quite a few. Well, now it can all change because if you have access to Microsoft 365 Copilot, I'm gonna show you ways that you can use today to bring Copilot in as your new digital assistant. Yes, no more scribbling down your notes and tasks on A4 paper. Instead, we can have Copilot do it all for us. Come into the meeting, take those notes and note the follow-up tasks. And I'm even gonna give you a quick way to get it into your Microsoft Planner and Microsoft To Do. So those all important tasks, well, you've got them in one place. And before we dive in, I'd love it if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to come on a journey with me. And I'll provide you new content every week to help you use these tools in much better ways. Not only that, hit that like button. Helps me know this content has helped you and also our video generally will perform better. Anyway, let's dive into Microsoft Copilot and show you how it will become your new digital assistant. So let's get started in Microsoft Teams. And here I am inside of the Teams app. What we need to get started is schedule one of your meetings. Now you can either do that in the Teams app or in Outlook. It doesn't matter which app that you want to use. But let's go and open the calendar inside of my Teams app. We can then schedule one of our next meetings. Here I've already got a meeting that I've set up to review some HR recruitment processes. By clicking into our meeting, we can join as per normal. There are no differences when it comes to setting up and joining your Microsoft Teams meetings. Now we're in the meeting, we'll need to set up transcription to allow Copilot to have access to this Teams meeting and any of the minutes and also actions that it also picks up during our meeting. To do that, head up and select the Copilot button. You can see here that I've got it set in my tenant that we need to enable transcription for Copilot to work. Now you can therefore click on the purple button to start the transcription. And all we need to do is go ahead and set the language of the meeting itself. With that now set, you can see the Copilot sidebar opens on the right hand side. Now that also means we have live access to Copilot during a meeting. Let's go and check it out and see how that works. So behind me, there's a meeting that I was involved earlier. Me and Matthew were discussing the overall finance of Project Greenspace. And we can also see that you can open the Copilot sidebar within one of your meetings, meaning I can now engage with Copilot in a live scenario. Yes, it's not only post the meeting that you'll have access to Copilot. Here, I've asked it to summarize this meeting. This is directly within the meeting itself. The meeting has not even concluded. And we can see that on the right hand side, we've got a full summary of how the meeting is progressing and all of the key points. Alongside that, I may wanna list the action items to understand what needs to be picked up later. Once again, Copilot lists those out so we can understand which actions that need to be sorted by myself and Matthew directly in the meeting. Very useful for a recap. And also, what about some questions that will be useful in within our meeting? Here again, I've asked Copilot and it suggested some really important meeting questions that I can ask directly in the session. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but now it looked like I definitely am. If you're enjoying today's video, then I wanted to let you know how you can also take your skills further. Because here at Your365 Coach, our mission is to give you the skills to make you more productive and focus on the more important things in life. Yes, if you need help in Microsoft 365, check us out at the link below where you can also have access to a range of digital masterclasses with hours of video content to help you in Microsoft 365 and also even work with us directly and help you, your team and your business. If you wanted to learn some more skills in Microsoft 365, you can even download a free Microsoft 365 ebook that you can access today. Otherwise, let's head back into Copilot and see how it's become your new digital assistant. And what happens post the meeting? Because we want Copilot to be able to summarize and recap our meetings for us. Well, here is the meeting invitation that I sent in using the new Microsoft Outlook. We can see once the meeting has concluded that we can see a meeting recap and also we can view the detailed recap. By left clicking into here, it takes us into the Microsoft Teams app. We can now see that we're in the recap section. We can see the AI notes that were captured by Microsoft Copilot during our meeting. Here we can see that we discuss project finances, financial planning purchase orders, and agree to set up a meeting in the next week. 
Not only that, the AI notes have also picked up the follow-up tasks, noting that we need to set up a meeting with Alison for the budget structure, raise the discuss purchase orders with Matthew, and again, schedule our meetings. So the description has powered these AI notes inside of our meeting, meaning Copilot has now become our meeting note taker and even generated tasks from within our meeting. But let's go a step further. This is great for notes and also understanding what needs to be done. But with Copilot in Teams, we can go over to the right hand side and select the Copilot button. And when you open the Copilot button, you'll see all of the conversation you had with Copilot during the meeting itself. You may remember these are all the live questions I asked Copilot during the meeting that I can now get back to. But even better, we can now ask Copilot more questions about that meeting. But even better, we can go into Copilot and ask it further information. Let's ask Copilot if there's further questions we should follow up with following this meeting. And there we go. Copilot's now used the information from our meeting and it's pointing out that I can ask Scott around the key deliverables and deadlines for Project Green Space and how we're going to report and monitor on the project's impacts. And with Matthew, how we're going to spend our £1 million budget and what are the contingencies we have in the plan. So you can see that the Copilot sidebar following the meeting can be used to ask more questions and then understand a little bit more about the meeting and whether you attended or not. But importantly, how is all of this working? It all seems very much like some computer magic. Well, actually remembering it all comes from your meeting transcript. If we go ahead and open the transcript inside of your Teams meeting here, you'll see that we have access to the transcript itself. Now also, if you're working with customers and clients who want a copy of this, you can actually go and download a copy directly into a Word or VTT format and then share it with one of your colleagues or clients later following the meeting itself from within your transcript. But also if we go ahead and select Open in Stream from within Microsoft Teams, you'll see we'll now see the transcript itself. As we skip through this file, you can see there is no video recorded. In fact, there's not even audio recorded. It's just the written transcript from our meeting. On the right hand side, we can also see that transcript showing the times that the relevant person has spoken in that meeting. Not only that, we can once again click on Copilot and we can also ask for further information. For example, show me parts where Matthew mentioned the budget. So here we can again use Copilot to be able to define what we're looking for and find it within our meeting transcript directly through Microsoft Stream. And there we go, at 31 seconds, 1 minute and 1.34, Matthew mentioned those points. A single click will take us straight back to that part of the transcript. So delivering it through Microsoft Stream and having the capabilities to open it and also check who said what and when is really powerful, alongside those capabilities that we saw in our Microsoft Teams to be able to look at the AI notes and also check out for any mentions and also show a transcript. But it doesn't end there. We can also go into our chat and open up Copilot. And we can also ask Copilot to summarize that meeting from earlier today. Yes, we may not have it in our calendar, but we can still pick up if I was invited into that meeting. Let's go ahead and go down into Copilot chat. And this time, ask it to summarize the meeting. And this time, click on the plus icon and we'll get a list of all of the meetings that were originally then I was invited to. We can then see the meeting for discussing the financials of Project Green Space and go ahead and give that question to Microsoft Copilot. It'll now comb through the transcript and understand both what happened in the meeting and summarize it for us using Copilot Chat. And there we go. We can now see that Copilot Chat has identified that we spoke around the budget being a million pounds, that there was also a spending plan and two purchase orders for marketing materials and surveys will be raised by Matthew. Now once we have the information here, much like any conversation in Copilot, we can also go further. We can also ask it to summarize any emails I've got about Project Green Space. I mean, this conversation can go way beyond the meeting notes themselves and discuss overall Project Green Space progress across all of your Microsoft 365 files and emails. So you're probably wondering, do the follow-up tasks therefore now appear in Microsoft Planner or to-do? And sadly, they do not. No, at this point, they are text, and you'll need to go take it into the task app of your choice. But we can also make that a little easier for you. 
let's go ahead and copy one of our follow-up tasks. Now here we can go into the details pane in our Microsoft Teams meeting. We can scroll down and we can use a collaborative loop notes experience, meaning we now have the ability to also assign follow-up tasks. Let's go ahead and paste in this task here and we can go ahead and assign it to myself to be picked up later and then select a due date as well. That now will mean that that's going to be placed in Microsoft Planner and synchronized into Microsoft To Do using the collaborative notes experience inside of Microsoft Teams. That means that you can take your follow-up tasks directly from your Copilot notes, bring them into your follow-up tasks in a loop collaborative notes experience and get them synced with Planner and To Do in just a couple of clicks. So what do you think? Is Microsoft Copilot going to become your new digital assistant? Well, I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments below. Personally, I think this is great capability. Now, often I use my own notes on paper. Yes, I'm very traditional. The problem is though, weeks later, it's very hard to understand what we discussed in a meeting and then think back to it. Well, not anymore, because in Copilot, we can simply ask it to recap that meeting or even follow up by rereading the meeting notes to jog my memory. And that's the point. Those meeting notes and summaries could last for years, means you can get back to them really easily. So yes, I'll be using this new capability in a lot of my meetings moving forward. Now, if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. Not only that, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and come on a journey with me where I show you how to use tools in Microsoft 365 in much better ways. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.